Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of Psychonauts 2. I scared myself there. I expected the camera on one end of the screen and it was in the other. I was like, oh, fuck, I fucked up so something. <laughs> Hello and welcome, everyone. Hello, Mayor Hazard. I assumed as much. Maybe, you know, 33% th chance I would have guessed exactly which Yakuza and which you're, what you're doing. <laughs> I say 33% because I could have said uh, two other things. Carter, Carter knows 10 minutes, yeah, normal, well, 10 minutes on the average, but yeah, that means you've been watching quite a while, man, no, already knows what, which buttons I press here to start. Hello, mother of hippie, hello and welcome, good evening, zdravo majko, dobroveče, isi jezici, Dr. Hip, <laughs> hi everybody, hi Dr. Hip, <laughs> Sasha, my love. Hope you're enjoying whatever you're doing up there. One floor above that there could be <laughs> that could mean something completely else. Oh wow. Alright. Let's get into this. We gotta do um we gotta do we gotta get all the collectibles we can before tackling the penultimate level, I'm pretty sure. This is just from memory. Could be three more levels. I'm pretty sure there's after we do the one, the bottled up one. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, there's the big one. The, like, the big one is probably going to take over yeah, three hours. But, you know, before that, I don't know if there's anything before Bob and that, really. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> someone else said that, but it's just weird. It just started it instantly, just start broadcast stream. All right. Whoever's here, whoever's not here, fuck you. <laughs> Too bad for you. You weren't here. That's. You know, I think there should be some lead up time. I know sometimes, like for this game, for instance, or for games that fall out of trucks from redeem <laughs> trucks, <laughs> you know, I, I'm very hyped to actually play them. So, what can I do in here? Man, this is gonna take. You can't leave now. Without Ford's help, I might not be able to get back. Oh shit, you can't even leave. Oh god, without the power. You can't go back. So no collectibles. You can't even go back. That's right. Yeah, the fast travel doesn't work. And the slow travel surely doesn't work. Because uh, we need Crawler to get us in here. I can't leave now. They need my help here. Alright, straight to the level then. Well, no, the, the game's not giving me any... Um, any room for fucking around, you know. I mean, I don't know what else. I'm pretty sure... Ow. Yep, okay. That's where I don't want to go right now. I want to go the other way. Oops. What was that? Wait, hold on. I gotta see what that is. I can't tell what that emote is. It looks like... Oh, it's it's music. It's whistling music. Okay, I just realized what it's supposed to be. The notes are just weird on Streamlabs. It looks different. <laughs> Where they come from? That's the first question. So it's been a week since I streamed. No, five days since I streamed anything. Was it here? Yep, this is one of them. All right. I was so tired on Saturday I couldn't even stream Outbreak. <laughs> All right, we did that one. And yesterday, well, the same thing. Oof. Now comes the harder part because the points are going to be less and less. So this is maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out. Maxed out. So three of them are not maxed out. Three, three, and seven credits each. That's something to think about. So there's still <clears throat> there's still tough stuff collect to collect. There's still stuff to collect in the mother lobe and the quarry. Nothing in the questionable area because I went just fucking <laughs> haywire on it. Uh... 
Nothing in the Green Needle Gulch. Well, no, nothing. What am I saying? A lot in the Needle Oh, God, he really added a lot. A lot of notes. This is like Silent Hill almost. All right, so uh, 10 more cards, two supply chests and keys, and only one challenge marker. That's an interesting combination of items that are left over, but, you know, it's not much considering everything. So did they, they had a psycho-isolation chamber? Man, I still... Yep, we only seen one part of this. So BGI, Heptadome, that's where we are now. G is Ford's office. All right, we haven't been there. I got to check that out. Is that the one up, up on the hill? I don't know. Ah, oh, it's Cassie's Hives. We've been there, yeah. But I'm going to go up there and try something, since we still can. Wait, which route? This route. I want to see Ford's office. Probably want to have some levitation for this, yep. Instead of guns. A peaceful soldier. Is this Ford's office? Yeah, this is Ford's office, I bet. Alright. I'm going to drop it. Just to check. Map. Well, it doesn't tell me where I am, but that's got to be it. Look. Yeah, we've been there. I'm pretty sure there was nothing else in there. Yep, that's the one. All right. So Cassie. It looks the map is. It looks bigger. You know, some areas look bigger and some areas look smaller. I guess it's the perspective. Would I have anything up here or out there or maybe? In Cassie's abode. Yeah, there was more up there, but we couldn't go. We needed the power, that's right. So there uh, there must be something up there. Over here, I guess. The entire time I'm carrying this. Okay, I can, I can put it down. <laughs> the smoke for the bees. Sticky, sticky. Nothing on this side. We've been yep. here. Whoa, I'm an airplane. We can go in, okay. So that's not blocked off. But he didn't really talk to her after that, did he? It's just, yeah, I, I never actually got down there. I should have talked to her and everything. Oh, she's gone. Oh yeah, there was the whole cutscene. Yep, they met again and Dogen was there and whatnot. There you go, you go in there, buddy. There's one chest. I don't remember if there was anything else in this area. Uh, with the door or whatever. Anything up there? So that's her bedroom, I guess. I'm, I guess by the large sized bed in the middle of it. Queen, okay, Eileen, come, queen come size bed. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Hello, Lyubka. Welcome, Lyubka. Hello, sister. Dear sister. Nice bedroom. Yeah, it is, man. Look at this. It's very cozy. It's a fucking huge bed. Especially for someone who has side. It's like a whole field to sleep on. You're on your way home. Where are you coming home from? Work or some extracurricular activity why what do you call that when you're an adult i guess the same thing shit you don't want to do <laughs> bit barren but the bed is utterly awesome hey some some people don't even have you know a bed so i guess it just depends what you expect from it huh that branch looks like it could carry me but it could also looks like it could kill me now what do you think which one is more true Anything up here that I should be aware of? So we need to get over there. That's where the thorns go. So which means I'll have to go from the other side. Your bedroom is full of stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> Social event at buddies. Well, I hope you had fun with your bud buddy. Let's fly down. 
Oh shit, I forgot there are bees here. Whew. Can I go over there and just avoid the death altogether? I'm too lazy to go for the smoky thing. Yeah. I guess I was... I was stuck between honey and honey. Oh shit, I didn't take the thing again. Alright, no, just try and go for it. So one of these things must shoot me out there. Oh, right, it would seem so. Wait a minute. No, I can't go up there. It just seems like I can. How would you, like, if you were me, how would you... Fuck it, I'll just do this. Hiya! There you go, that's how. It's not the high jump, it's the long jump. They're a different thing. Whoop. That's how. Why do I mix those two up? Like, I've never played a platforming game again. Again, before. Lurk for now. Alrighty, sis. AFK when it's the... <laughs> I guess AFT. <laughs> I wonder if I can use their own uh, thingy. You know, the brain thingy. Oh no, that's the heptathon. Is that the brain tumbler? Is it time to take a spin in the brain? Oh sure, yeah, there you go. I can do it from here. Yes. I'm ready to go to the collective unconscious. So I wonder, can you finish the second game? Uh can you one hundred percent the second game before finishing it like the first one? I'm just not sure at this moment. Let's go brain by brain. Who's missing stuff? That's Cassie. She's missing what? Well, that's the last one we've been to. I guess it's the freshest. Just, just emotional baggage. Why? Why what? Sorry, I, I don't know. I don't know what that refers to. Hmm. So with Cassie, we're missing just tag. Oh, one half of mine. We just want a half a mind and to tag a bag. Tag a bag. All right. May I this guy will tell us. No, no, I wonder if, if Psychonauts 2, you can 100% the game before the final boss. So in the first game, you could do that. You could 100% do everything and then defeat the final boss and it's like a round ending. But I wonder if you can do that here or do you have to defeat the final boss and then the previous areas come become accessible again. And then 100% it, because that would be that, that would be the thing I like less. Oh, Librarian's Desk. Both things are apparently in Librarian's Desk, so around here. Oh, we got a warp, because this Could you give me a lift? frame rate issue is killing me, so just anywhere. Whoop. Hello, Mutation. Welcome, Mutation. How you doing, Mutation? That always makes me a little dizzy. Oh, Sash, look where I warped into. Your favorite. <laughs> Alright, let's go back there. I, need to get somewhere quick. I have to leave the fish via the snot tunnels. You working, buddy? I hope your day is going well, mutation. So, was it here? I'll let you in there when you bring me back all of the bad books. I promise. No, thanks. So it's here. Both of both things we're looking for should be here. How about my uh, archetype? Was it? Well, where is it? Projection. Zip, zip, zip. Now is that a penny over there? <laughs> sure, sure. But just thinking for now, huh? Can I go back? You sure you want to do that? Come on, I was a little slow. Yeah, I know. Do it. Come on. Hurry up, you pop it in. So, anywhere here, huh? Among the books. Should be a bag, and what did I say? Half a mine. Well, there should be visible. Th those things are pretty... Pretty visible. Are you gonna retract yourself? No, it's not. Time bubble, got it. Whoop. No can do that. Let's look around. 
Well, the thing is, half of mine will be glowing golden, like, like the lights. That's a little confusing. If it's even in this room. Oh no, no, that would be awesome, Carter. Important information, one that's necessary. Yeah, that would be. Woo! That would be really good. I would love that. I love games that connect between sequels. So the only games that I, that do that that I can think of I played were would be uh, Golden Sun. Or you can transfer everything from the first game into the second, like all items, spells, whatever you have. And Mass Effect. Oh, you can't slow these down, but I guess you can... Oh shit, wrong side. So we have that now, huh? And that goes up. I wonder if I can... Probably gonna jump from this, yeah, from this one onto that one. That's same as last one. Same as last time that I forgot. Nope. Oh, that was close. There's another book. What can I do with it? If I weren't into video games, I'd probably be reading books. Or watching movies? Well, well, I do one of those two. <laughs> Guess which? <laughs> do I want to open that? No, I don't want to be in that book. Shit, is it gonna kick me out in the same thing? Get me out of here. I don't want to be in here. Maybe I just jump into a hole? Nope, that just takes my health away. Alright, good try. That's an interesting thing to think about, mutation. I gotta get out of here. I'm stuck in a 2D book world. There we go. Fuck! I don't want to be here. Alright. <laughs> Back to the initial plane. So don't touch the books. They're just portals. Could you give me a lift? Back to Librarian's Desk. For the right reason alone, Golden Sun is on my place, even though I have a single clue. Oh! A bubble juice in my nose that time. It's about alchemy, in essence. But without, you know, it's it's an interesting... So I guess I can tell you one thing that it's in marketing materials, basically. So in the first game, you're playing as a party of adventurers that, along with several other characters, is also kind of competing with another party of adventurers. And in the second game, you can transfer your save. You don't have to, but it's much cooler if you do. And... Uh, you're playing as that other party of adventurers, but not like it's not like you know what they did while the first guys were doing their thing. It's uh, the story continues with them, and you got to think about like which which party is the antagonist. They they could both be considered both protagonists and antagonists depending on your you know how you look at things, which which is a, you know a thing I really like about that game. Among other things. The spells are really cool. It's a JRPG, but you can use your spells outside battles. So you can use them in the field. Which gives a lot of puzzle opportunity. It's an amazing game duo for the Game Boy Advance. I still can't believe there was a GBA and they never released it for anything else. Where could it be? I mean, there should... Oh, I know where this case is. I remembered. I just remembered. I just gotta get there. Huh. Some of them are connected, as you can see. Then I gotta send my clone buddy to go and push a switch. That's right. Where is the switch? That switch? No. It should be a lone switch. With nothing else close to it. This switch. Alright. Go forth, my minion. Go there. Zoop. And he'll lift me up. And now I can do more stuff. These things are murder on my back. It's having I think so that much you're fun. Some emotional baggage here. Yeah, that's the last baggage, Raz. That's right. I I keep wanting to call him Razio because he's Raz. <laughs> Oh, 
There he is. All right, did that. It is. Cassie's emotional baggage is all sorted. Maybe now she can write another book. Maybe. And there's nothing else here, is there? Where's that half of mine? It should also be somewhere here. You know, you should get on that game as soon as you can. It is one of the most unique and interesting JRPGs I've played. And the music, man, the music in that game. God, so good. I'm gonna check if that half mind is maybe just maybe here. Oh. Gotta get to the other side where it's safe. Where could it be? Ah. Oh, thank you for the raid, Sexy Wesky. Welcome, welcome raiders, Weskerites. Hello, everyone. One, two, three, four. Blah, 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 blah. I knew it. <laughs> it does say, yeah, I... You know, he, the man raids me so much that when a raid sound is there, I instantly think it's Professor Wesker. It's his sound, you know. Who else could it be? Uh, I'll never forget when Morshi raided me and I started, Ah, oh, thank you, Wesker. Hello, everyone. Blah, blah, blah. And Morshi's like, Wesker? Oh, Morshi. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just force of habit. For, it's, I think it's been like weeks nobody else raided me for weeks but Wesker. And my brain just like pro started processing. Helicopter sound. That's Wesker. <laughs> How you doing, Wesky? Where have you been playing? Hello, Jason. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the dream stream. I forgot how these work, man. I had my uh, admins, mods there for a long time, and I forgot how to do these. My hands, my hands are old, and they don't remember. Sons of the Forest, how did you do? How did you do, son? Were you winning? Who's, who was the cannibal there? Who was, who was running for... for uh, for safety. Good to hear it good, man. StarCraft 2 and Sons of the Forest. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet there was uh co-op or like versus both of those. Well, I mean, you know, multiplayer. So Professor Wesker here is unfortunately moving to kick, was it right? And because uh, Twitch is shutting down their business uh, ventures in South Korea, it was co-op, yeah. So Wesky, would you drop your kick link here, please? Just for people you know who might be here and want to find you after you're gone from Twitch. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to, right? I think you should be able to put put a link in there. Yeah, your the link to your channel, you know. Or sorry, was it kick? Kick.com slash Professor Wesker Cho. Or however it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Just so so it's not because it's gonna stay in here in the video. So even the, when the video is on YouTube, someone's watching, they're like, ah, that's where Wesker is. We found him. <laughs> so we left the we left the trail. For future Wesker fans to uh, to find, there you go. So I'm gonna leave that on, pinned for a few minutes, just in case the chat moves. Save. Ta-da! So there's the link. There's Professor Wesker's new channel on Kick. Hopefully you rebuild your audience super fast, man. Are you streaming at both places right now through OBS, huh? I imagine. There's no music, there's just drawers banging in the background. It's so mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah, there were already 1,233. He was the 34th. 
he got the it's it's a lucky number, you know, because it's a sequence. <laughs> oh, fuck, Carter. You'll get there, Wesk. You'll get there. You know, if you started streaming a little before we met, right? I seem to remember it like that. You were streaming sometime earlier. Oh, look, the music just restarted when I started music. But I'm musing, I'm moving. I seem to remember something like that. It wasn't too long before we met, right? I'm trying to find that one thing that's missing. If I get bored, I'll just look it up. But I should be, it should be around there, shining golden. The golden nugget of wisdom. Just gotta figure out where. And it says it's in the librarian's desk. Um, area. In this general area. Maybe. Just what happens when it moves up and I'm not here, huh? Let's try that. After February 20th. But are you... St you're streaming there right now as well, right? That's how... That's... That's what I... That's the impression I got. Yeah, about one month left, man. I'm, I'm sure your viewers are already acquainted with that, that, that it's happening, right? It's not, it's no secret, I mean. You know, guys, maybe we should look into these little shell holes. Whatever you want to call them. Maybe it's here. Because I touched the book and it just, everything disappeared. Naver. That's the... Wait, what's Naver? Is that the Korean platform? I've heard about a new platform recently. A lot of them popped up. Like, pretty quick, one after another. Or is it just me? Maybe I'm getting old and tired of... <laughs> keeping track of things. But it just feels like... Ah, oh, shit, they got both of them. It just feels like uh, quite a few platforms. It is a Korean new platform, yeah. Well, you know, like I said earlier, if this is what's happening with Twitch, uh, someone's gonna fill fill in that, let's say, power vacuum. I don't know what else to call it. Is that? I think I think I see the nugget. I think. Don't don't trust me, but that, that looks like it hold like it could hold a nugget. Oh. Hold on a minute. What about that over there? It could also hold a nugget as well. <laughs> Fucking Carter. No, I don't know. Did he have a name? Which which version of the story are you talking about, though? That also changes a lot. Oh, this. So this one here is made to whack me. Whack me good. No, too fast. All right. Don't touch the book. Just go up. It's a trap. They want you to touch the book. Oh. That's what I'm missing. There it is. I didn't have the archetype. Who's going to remember all the doors? Thank you, little guy. There we go. Full brain. This is it. 100% of the brain. We're done. Let's get out of here. As soon as I find my little buddy. There we go. Gotta draw him again. Whoop. <laughs> the way West wrote it, you mean the Joker? <laughs> May I trouble you for a bubble? 1989. Is that the... Yeah, well, are you talking about the uh, Michael Keaton one? Back to Collective Unconscious. I read that as irrational question. I have an irrational question. All right, I guess we can get all of them now. Zoop. What is this? Hollis's brain. See, we're missing shit here already. Is that the first one? Yeah, Hollis's hot streak. 
I think we can finish that one now as well. It's all with this power. How is this classroom? Well, did, I, did I find something and I forgot I found it? Yeah. Michael Keaton one, yeah. A rational question. Ask him an irrational question. <laughs> <laughs> so if this is all classroom, that means, wait. Kind of feel like I found a piece of this. Oh wait, the classroom, that's right. I'm looking at the wrong one. Hold on, I'm pretty sure there's got to be more to this. I need to get somewhere quick. Yeah, there you go, there you go. We got to go to the... Well, that's not where I want to go. I guess the morgue? I know, because it's two levels. Okay, so back to the same. Where was it? Ah, oh, shit. Why did you have to bring me back all the way here? Hollis's brain. But then we choose hot streak because it's a separate sub level and then go to the door Could you give me a lift? And now we find cardiology is the only cardiology and cardiology back room the only two areas we're missing a bed but they're both behind doors where i need an archetype thanks buddy Yep, there's one. You know what? Let's just not detonate that shit. I know I like to blow these up, but not now. Alright, that's one. Pesky little guy. That's... There you go. And then back to the bubble guy. Mr. Snotty. I need to get somewhere quick. Hi, Boundy. Welcome, Boundy. How you doing, Boundy? Back room of cardiology. Good evening, Boundy. Boundy Squirrely. So this is the back room, right? What am I missing here? Was it another? Another one of those things? I guess I gotta shoot shit now. What did I put there? Nothing I need right now. So where is it? Where did I leave that little thing? There it is. It's flying over there. I'm pretty sure that's it. Right? No, no. I mean, things can fly here. They aren't what I think they are. Oh, fuck it. I'll just go for it. A charge! Shit, 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 shit. These are falling apart. Everything's just getting destroyed. Everything's trying to kill me. That's not what I thought it was. Fuck. There it is. I see it. Ha ha. Just gotta find my way down there. I got you, little butt sucker. Hiya. No, but it's no. Don't touch them. That's how, and that's, is that a figment I'm missing? Is it like one whole figment? That's it. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. There you go. That's all we needed to do. Wow. What am I missing? Pop culture reference. Oh, see, that's an interesting one. <laughs> that's a good one, though. Never ordered the wrong beer. But yeah, I've been, I've been a little. My hands have been a little tied. Let's see, because uh, I've been thinking about the game a lot. <sighs> Mayor Hazard. I had to think what. Hmm. Yakuza Hazard. Nope. A 
So what would be... How did you word that? It's like mostly Serbian movies, I guess. You know, go to pop culture. Yeah, they have to do with Serbian movies, especially the old movies, you know. So it's nothing like... It's nothing anyone internationally would understand, really. There's the bubble guy. Alright, we're good. I'm thinking, yeah, I don't know how to... Because even if... Uh, even when, uh, when topics are, you know... Even when topics are... Internationally familiar, like I don't know, we had a shit ton of war movies. It's still like if you haven't seen the movie that's in Serbian, it won't work. Maybe we, we're not angels. I don't know. I know that one was released internationally. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, we're going to my favorite level. Hmm. Yeah, even like I'm thinking maybe we're not angels, but only if you've seen the movie you could you could understand. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Well, again, it's local stuff. It's like, medieval writers and uh, there's a lot there's a lot of pop culture stuff from the Ottoman times, so before the 1900s, so there was like a big chunk, 500 years, well, culture, that's, it wasn't stale, but it was conditioned by the Ottoman Empire, so that kind of things mixed, and there's a lot of shit from that era, but again, maybe it will mean something to your uh, ancestors, like the ones that traded here, but by now it's gone, yeah. We are not the angels. No, it's like from the 80s. Hey, little buddy. So where I can we go? Concessions has a half a mine. Yeah, so it's like, it's I don't know. Fine. Even if I translate it, it means nothing because you got to know the story. I don't know the story. So we have a... Let's say pop hero, Karivich Marko. How would you like the royal Mark? Let's call him like that. Like uh, he's Prince Mark. Let's say Prince Mark, and uh, he's like a folk hero. He went around, battled the Turks and whatnot. You know, they would stake people. He would fight back. So there's this whole story where they argue. Essentially, it's supposed to be a metaphor, but it's like back and forth. Uh, Yo, Turks, stop killing shit. And he's there. You know they respond yo mark stop killing our guys and something like that so again it means nothing if you know without the context without context it means nothing that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> we do have a thing that's so sometimes out of comedy we'll literally translate serbian sayings into english so one that recently a lot of people have been laughing at is they want to translate you thirsty across water. It comes from the saying that, well, you want to take someone, cross the river while they're thirsty without them drinking water. You're so cunning, you're going to trick them that way. Like, I don't know, like taking cattle across the river, but without it realizing it's water and drinking. So, you know, crossing the river, crossing, this, it's the same word, it's a synonym for, no, homonym for, uh, for, uh, Translation, same word, so you can joke around with that. You're trying to translate someone thirsty across water, it's just funny. I guess that would be funny even in English without knowing. Yeah, you could say that. I mean, that's why they become what they... Just move it. Damn, he glitched. Alright, time to slap some memories out of you. First of Helmut's memories, Ford forgets. Well, that's maybe not first. So we see Maligula attacked with her hydrokinesis. Helmuth threw himself to protect Bob, the love of his life. We're going to into Bob's level in this episode. <laughs> That's the idea. And they were both knocked out into the ice that 
Otto's machine made. So it's all the stories are coming together. And Helmut ended up in there. And his hel Helmut's helmet flew off. Bob, oh my God, they're so young. So that's Compton, Bull, uh, Ford Crawler, uh, what's his name? Otto Mentalis, Cassiopeia, and the heartbroken Bob Zanotto. Look where Helmut ended in Perma. That's not Permise, it's pretty watery, but okay. There he is. But his brain just in this universe, brains just like a slippery soap can fall out. And Bob, oh, but sorry, what Bob? Wait a minute, who is that? Who's the who? Well, that's that's Ford. What, what, that looks like Augustus. That looks like that looks like uh, Rasputin's dad, which is a detail I would have completely forgotten. Or is that supposed to be Otto? I'm not sure. But that's definitely Helmut's brain. And then, uh, then I guess Ford tried to restore him into human or something. But he couldn't. Or transfer his consciousness, something. So he left it there. Oh yeah, he forgot everything. He shattered his own mind. That's right. That's Maligula being brainwashed. Then he brainwashed himself and he left his brain to rot in there. That's right. That's why, that's why Otto says... I found that brain in the heptadome. That's the heptadome. That's their old building. And then Otto just wanders in eating a cheeseburger like an Otto would. <laughs> Fucking love that guy. Oh, look at that. The nifty brain to put in my collection. Didn't even check whose brain it was. It was their best friend's brain. This whole time. It's beautiful. And the game doesn't want you to know this until you do everything with Cassie. That's just wonderful. All right. I think we're done everything in this area. That's amazing. Still enjoying the Woodstock blues music, the canned heat, heat performance. Wait, where's my snotty buddy? Could you give me a lift? German football players are like that. They don't do it for fun. They are, <laughs> they are not really intelligent. <laughs> Once watched an entry with a German Formula One driver and compared to interviews with football players, it's like that. I think it comes like with early age, especially uh, at least here. Somebody is good at football. They're like, nah, son, you don't, you don't need, uh, you don't need school or anything. Just, uh, you know, do your thing, and it'll be fine. You skip school. We'll help you skip school. What do you need not to do? You don't need to do this. Don't do that. There you go. Done. So we're missing a nugget of wisdom, half a mind, and a bag. My archetype is having a ton of fun by itself. So we're looking a little golden thing that's jumping up and down. Could be pretty much anywhere. Like, what about up there? Have I tried up there? The the off colors are really fucking with my eyes. Cooey! Am I sure this is where I want to go? Gonna need uh, gonna need that actually, and I guess I'll I'll use that. Yeah. Not that I need it right now, but gotta keep six eyes open because I can't see shit here from colors. The best level ever, except when you need to look for collectibles. Then it's fuck you. Maybe there's a slot somewhere I'm missing. Because that's what I think. There's got to be a slot I'm missing to send my archetype in. He's just having a lot of fun. we got to give him something to do. He's going to burn out. Destroy the garbage. Oh. Oh, look a figment. Not even what I was looking at, but uh, what I was looking for. Uh, there we go. That's where the missing figment was. So, all right. Hiding in plain sight. That's how they do it. Hello, zombie chow. Hi, zombie buddy boy. How's your day going, zombie? That's a name I'm always glad to see. My eternal partner in... Um, 
Zombie survival. All right, we're done with this area. I shrine next. Too bad, I like the music. We're gonna like the music there as well. You working today, Zamboni? To Saturday, Monday. Well, you're not working today, according to my calculations. Okay, here I remember it was a... Wait, do I want to go there? It's kind of like... So where did I go f with... I'm lost. Why do I have both sides? Man, I love this music. So was there a memory somewhere here? If this is the only area that has unclaimed shit, that means that unclaimed shit is somewhere around here. Let's start from the top. Let's start from the stage. Can we get a little more volume in this mic? No. <laughs> Sounded like he responded to me. Oh, get it. fuck off, little guy. <laughs> Not playing Outbreak, that's what I know. That's the only thing you know, my friend. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Are you are you are you managing to rest a little with all the work, with your your crazy shifts and your outbreak playing? You know, it does feel weird, zombie, that we didn't play in over uh, five days. I don't. I mean, on Saturday we played what two games? It doesn't count. That's like just that's just to remember how to press the buttons. Oh, sorry, Carter. Nothing but physical activity. Yeah, it's a shame. I think it should be both. It shouldn't be just... Because I've seen people... I've seen talented kids who are good at football, but also at, I don't know, engineering. Just... They lose one thing, you know, when... when if you focus only on one thing, you lose the other thing. That's just how it is. And as kids, you know, we'd, we'd be jealous. Like, ah, oh, he gets to skip class. Why can't I skip class? Why? Fuck, I'm good at video games. Why can't I go to a video game college and get, you know, skip class? But as an adult, you understand, you know, that they, they weren't doing, you know, they weren't, they weren't doing them a favor, those kids. Yeah, amazingly I do, zombie. Yesterday it was shit. We tried to play some Left 4 Dead and I lost my patience, honestly. I had like 400 millisecond ping. I wonder how Sasha does it. She just like plays, she just enjoys the game. I can't. If, I, if I'm pressing a button and the thing I expect to happen isn't happening, I don't want to play. Then I'll go do something else. I'll go play something that does listen to my commands, you know? Commands. <laughs> Not a, not a future emperor here at all, but yeah, you know what I mean. But today, as you can see, it works. I almost lost my shit when we started, because right after we started, this, uh, the stream has disconnected. Oh, seriously, is this what we're going to do today? Streamlabs, we're going to fight? But that was just one time and it didn't happen again. All in all, zombie, apparently it only happens when we're playing Outbreak. <laughs> It's a curse. Maybe it's mutation working from, you know, he's like, I don't know about computers. I'm just, I need my friend Hippie's help. But then I turn my back and he's just hacking the servers and my internet. Oh, I love that transition. Always did. Look at that. That's so trippy. And the music changes. So the first one here. Uh, instead of a loading screen, isn't that a lot better? It's like going into Wonderland. So it's that... The music's gonna change again. Whee! I love it. And this music. Oh god, it's amazing. Thank you for the lurk, Carter. Or you switch? Well, I don't know what he meant. Oh, you mean you switch between them? Yeah. Unlurk. Oh, here's that music again. Hit me again. You know what? Uh, what if the rest of the stream was just chilling in here? 
It could happen. I've seen weirder things happen. I was talking to my friend, you little fuck knobs. He was talking about the rainbow. Haven't you heard him? Stupid sensors can't see color. Look at the eye. It's drowning in the water. <laughs> This is the one that, yeah, this is the one that reminds me of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And there's the vault there, I remember now. I was trying to get it and I couldn't. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is, there is, uh, I've seen the movie with the English subtitles, very good translation, so, yeah, if you can get a hold of that, watch it. That was a student's movie, by the way. Alright, we got all the other worlds. Helmut's Hail Mary. Theater, now showing Helmut's psycho, what is it called, psycho... Thingy. Oh, that was his. Yeah, that was his show. It's done. Psychodicy. Closed. But well, there he is singing and they're shooting figments of imagination at people. But there's no one there. But there's no one there. But Ford. Oh, Ford. That's how Ford found them. I bet Ford's like, yeah, slow clap, bitch. Friendly, kind of bitch. And then he brought him to the others. And look, everyone's, hi, hello there. But Bob's on auto's already like, oh, hello, hottie. And he's singing and shooting figments. At, Why are you shooting figments at them, Helmut? I guess that's the mystery of Jack Black. Nobody knows. Everybody loved him. But Bob's on auto's heart just beat fast. I'm glad I did this in this episode. It all, it all ties in. It does, I swear. Kill switch. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Two, th so two more of these. Shit, I still need. I'm gonna bet they're here because that's the only area that didn't seem to have. <laughs> didn't seem to have. I just gotta look for anything golden or brainy jumping up and down. So weird being back in this level with this little guy. Everybody look together. Oh, sh I think, wait, wait. I'm having some... I'm having the thing, uh, a thought with pictures. Headache with pictures. <laughs> Gotta keep it slowed down. So let's look. From here, I should be able to see a good portion of the level. It's a huge level. Who's. How am I supposed to explore all this? With one eye. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I know exactly what you're talking about. Whee! So I'm, I'm high up now, so I should be able to see shit. That's a happy fish. So wait, the eye shrine, that's Ford's shrine, that's right. Because he's the, he's the vision. Then I lurk without lurking. Haha! <laughs> you, you got a soul, you devious bastard. <laughs> the crying tears, I got those. Oh fuck, just follow the. Talk to me through the ears of my mind. There we go, all the drugs, my boy. All the drugs. Oh yeah. 
What's that sound? Uh huh. What is that sound? Am I missing a bag? I'm missing a bag. I am missing a bag. It's in here, isn't it? Hi there, little buddy. That's what I'm missing. Wow. I sorted all the emotional baggage in Helmet's mind. Wonder if I can be in the band. <laughs> Hey, you know what I noticed after the after the Windows update this morning? So it is something with Windows. That was right. Something with Codex. The capture card is way more stable. But it's so it's not the capture card. It's something with the system. All right, it skips a little, but not as nearly as much as before. And then it goes back to smoothness, like that. So yeah, there there is a change, a positive one. Or maybe I'm just not still used to it. This actually transmitting the way I. Hey, have I been here? We are all just frequencies in the same beam of light, rainbow bound and bonded. Oof. I'm glad I'm using headphones for this. Wouldn't have it any other way. I'm gonna go down there and maybe I find something. He's got guards. Get out of here, you little bum. Let's go this way. I wonder if this is gonna take me anywhere. Okay, we need some pyrokinesis here. Please, there be a. Uh, Half a mind or something. There is absolutely nothing here. This can't be up. Ah! All right. <laughs> yep. Just show them right there. If the secrets don't come to you. Just throw yourself off a ledge. That will show them. Can't jump higher, so it's not here. It sounds like baby Metroids. Maybe up there? Shit, I can't see. My mind's eye is clouded, man. I'm gonna need some herbal remedy for this. I've got a furry. Woohoo! Well, I, I somehow did that. That's not at all how it was supposed to go, but like a fool, I was spared of my own folly. Oh, more little bastards. Not even gonna f waste bullets on them. So somewhere here, I sense there might be a little collectible. Beam, boom, 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 boom. I love games when they use uh, they use dynamic music. The music to change in response to a situation. That's it's such a simple tool nowadays. We've gone much further than that. But again, it's you know, despite despite the age of the technique, it works. If you do it good, it works, man. It works double time. And now we gotta go back there. That's the order we would go in. I kind of remember there was somewhere half a mind in one of the speakers or something. Letter. Not in plain sight, but let's make sure if it's in this area at all. I should have gone to the to slimy, my friend slimy. Hmm. It's a large area, it's humongous even. I think I came from there, then I went over there, then I walked here, then I went all the way over there, and up here. What about down? There's nothing down there. Oh, it's making me dizzy. And then I want to go, I guess, in this one. Whee! Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. The way the rainbow twists, it's easy to uh, fuck it up, as we've seen. The tip of the tongue, the lips and the teeth. Check, check, check. Is 
this the end? Or have we bent around back to the beginning? I don't know, man. I have too much blood in my drugs. I can't seem to be able to figure it out. I want to go up. Let me go up, Ford. What the hell happened to Sitars? Oh, please be behind him. No, it's not. I thought it was going to be hiding somewhere here. Whoa, dude. Have you seen that thing? Is it behind him? Like, completely behind him? No. I know you're hiding a secret, Ford. Spit it out. But don't spit too hard. You're going to kill me. I guess he's not hiding, hiding a secret. Hmm. I may be looking in the wrong area. Maybe it's... We can't go behind him, it's impossible bro. Impossible bro. Oh where then? Back across the rainbow. Yeah, I wish I could like slow-mo myself in the game. Let's go take the right trail. It's almost as if there's something there, huh? Boing. Check one. Or is this two? <laughs> Those are sensors, alright? Let's try what the sensors are. Pacha! No, fish! Don't betray me, weirdly drug fish. Fuck, it's burning my eyes. Down there, no. Hut. Hiya. Wait, is there something behind there? No. Shouldn't be able to go there. Wow, am I back to the first area? I'm confused because where the, oh, does this loop and go around and can't go on the side, huh? Can go this way or up or around. Shouldn't should I drop down? Is there anything down there? Because if it turns out you just like a drop down and jump to get it, I'm gonna look down from here. Something silly as that. Well, that would take me back to the rail, but the other... Is that the other rail? Fuck. What a mindfuck. And more rails up here. Beautiful. I guess let's take the lower rail first. I already... Forgetting where I've been and where I have... Oh, shit. That's where I came from. God. I've been tricked. I've been tricked by no one else but me. Can't even go back. Ah! What if here I use the... There you go. Oh, turn around. Whee! What was the point of that? You know what? Just go to slimy. There's no point trying to reinvent hot water. If we don't even know if we need hot water. What if we need cold water? Then it's all for nothing. Where did they go? This way? Easy now, flying fish. The windfish. Oh, that's the windfish from Link's Awakening. It's foreshadowing for the upcoming stream. Whee! Yeah, you know, Zelda Link's Awakening is a drug game as well. It's like everything's on crack in that game. Even they, they have a fucking animal village. Well, that's not even the weirdest thing. It's like in your, you're in a dream. But you can also dream, and in a dream, whatever happens will hurt you in the dream above. It's like Inception before it was cool. Uh, jump or not jump? Uh, jump. Uh, jump and jump. So I'm back here. Is that where I wanted to go, or... What about the other one? The other one would take me nowhere. Alright, fuck this. I'm going home.
Screw you guys, I'm going home. There's no snotty here for miles. Gotta get to my snotty. To my snotty Scotty. Snotty? Wherefore art thou, Snotty? I think he's back there. I'm just checking. Because it'll be like you missed it by this much. You passed it seven times, but you didn't look in this direction. Snotty, wherefore art thou? Show yourself to me, Snotty. Oh my god. Was he? He was over there. Right in the middle of this area. Yep. But you gotta guess where the fuck is the thing I'm trying to collect in the first place. Tell me more, Snotty. Could you give me a lift? Nose mouth shrine. Let's go there and then, you know, based on that we'll see what's missing. Exception <laughs> was never cool. <laughs> Got a little bubble juice in my nose that time. Alright, Nose Mouth Shrine should be a little change of pace and intensity of colors. They burn even more now. Actually, if you're getting nauseous, I wouldn't blame you. All the slapping tongues. Sounds like Ray Manzarek is getting wild on the keyboard. Wait, what about here? Have I been here? Oh shit, I'm not supposed to go there, I guess. Ah! Wait, that's interesting. I'm, you know, if it says I'm not supposed to go there, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. Let's see, uh, we're missing. So one nugget, one half of mine, that's all. One nugget, one half of mine. And they're, they're both gonna be in these areas. So the one is in this one and the other was in the other one. I just gotta, oh. Figure out where, where which is. What about the rainbow? Is that where I came from? Did I come from the rainbow? No, I don't think I. I came from another place. So it wasn't this rainbow. Should I check that area first? Fuck, I don't. I have no idea. Well, it's in one of the areas. So I. That's the first clue. Slappy mustache. <laughs> Shit, I need that power. Instead of I don't need the archetype now, so Oops! Whoa. Wasn't paying attention. Was it here? Oof, what else can I... I can take this, I guess. I, I could just shoot them. No, that doesn't work well on them. But grabbing their ship works... Ah! Which button? RB. God, when you change them all the time. Alright, RB is now that thing. The grabby thing is this. It's a boom. That's how you do it. The big snot. I'm supposed to climb the big snot, right? But what if I went this way, huh? Because it looks like an area you could land to, right? It looks. So you can go there and then up. But I don't think you're supposed to. Dark thoughts would take me just to get some, yeah, pigments. <laughs> that sound. Oh, disgusting. You don't think the nugget's here, right, is it? Oh, 
I'm gonna look around everywhere because everything's a suspect now. It's not we're jumping around there. Have I been down there? I must have been down there. Yeah, there's the mustache slapping. Funny, I never thought I'd say that before in my life. There's the mustache slapping. I never thought there would be a landmark in my life. Little fuckers, get away. Doom, 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 doom. I should just look these up. It's ridiculous to look them to look for them like this. Woo! I don't know why I did that. But somehow I saved it. There's just there's no point to this. I mean there is, but it's just so time consuming. <laughs> Alright, those close. The marbles, I needed the marbles earlier, but Huh? Could that be it? No, that's just a heart. See, it's very hard to see them here because they're almost the same color as everything in the background. And the colors are already on drugs, so wait, how about here? It's something stupid like this. See, this looks like a good place for a collectible, but there isn't one. At least we got Jimi Hendrix here shredding. Huh. Give me your half of mind and your nugget of wisdom. God, there's so much shit. I see it! I fucking see it! There it is! There's the nugget of wisdom. Aha! But how the fuck do I get to it? Alright, now that I see it, that's half work done. I hope that extends it. Hiya! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Alright, close enough, but we, we see where it is. The, the, you know, the part that I need to figure out is how to... There you go, that's how you climb the tongue. Alright, so that's done with this area. So the only that's left is the half of mine in the other area. Oh, should have cast the spell first, then jump. I'm a little excited, I won't lie. <laughs> Alright, now that we found it, we can kill keep killing ourselves. Indefinitely. It's gonna be something like that in the previous area, isn't it? Well, this is like the yellow submarine area. That's why I keep thinking about the Beatles. That and the whole Lucy in the Sky sitar. May I trouble you for a bubble? Okay, just the eye shrine left. We can do it. It's only been an hour and a half. Well, less. An hour and ten minutes. Fifteen. So. Thanks, buddy. So where is it? Is it in one of these? Like I remember it be being somewhere not so obvious. Oh hello senpai my friend brother. Good morning, good evening to you. How you doing brother? Thanks for the hydrate. I talk a lot. And I stare at this screen, but I forget to drink water. And coffee. I've had coffee the entire time. 
Silly man. Well, the game is too good. What can I tell you? It's all the drugs in one. With no side effects, except maybe eyes being a little tingly. We're looking for half a brain jumping up and down. That's what I'm looking for, right? Yeah, the only thing I'm missing is half mine. And it's in this area. We know that much. Like, would it be up there? Is that... Is that a realistic assumption? Like, up on those speakers, would they put it up there? I don't think so. But... No. Let's just do the transition. Or the mic test. The tip of the tongue, the lips and the teeth. Can we get a little more volume in this mic? <laughs> okay. So how many drugs do I need to find that brain slapping around? We're back here, folks. Light and time bend together to fill the universe. What did you say? Fucking sensors everywhere. I'm trying to censor my... Ah, there he is! Oh god, how dumb is that? All right, found it. Found it. All is good in the world again, folks. 100%. Boop. There you go. It was right there. Just uh, so glad I didn't look it up. It's such a such a good feeling when you do it yourself. And finally the tomb of sarcophagus. Let's get the fuck out of here. Though it sends the up. This level is just made for me. <laughs> It's too good. Woohoo! Too many buttons. Very excited. Hey, little buddy. I need to get somewhere quick. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so all that's left is the tomb of Sarcophagus. Who's is that part of that's part of Ford's mind? Oh my god. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. It's the part he locked away, isn't it? Yep, Ford's fracture mind. It is the sarcophagus is part of him. It's it they all count like as separate levels, but they're part part of the whole. He's a big brained fellow. I guess Ford really doesn't have anything else to hide. I really didn't want to come back here. I'll make it quick. So yeah, this is... There it is. It's the vault. That's the only thing we're missing. It was inaccessible the first time because he didn't want to remember it. It was... He buried it there, the memory. Ford Cruller cracked. He was fighting Maligula, which is... Spoilers? Well, we've past that part they said it already but cover your ears i guess if you didn't hear it until now you don't wanna the love of his life uh raz is what is he great no great aunt raz so rasputin's great aunt sister of his real grandmother so he i guess he fractured her mind the hell is that that's god is that are those goggles? Oh no, it's it's their photos. Emotional baggages and shit. Is that what I'm seeing here? He's he's breaking their minds, both of them. That's Augustus, that's Rasputin's dad. So he was an orphan because his parents were drowned in the deluge of Grulovia caused by his aunt. So Augustus was an orphan, his parents drowned when his aunt, Maligula, or Lucy, caused the deluge of Grulovia. Ford took him from the orphanage. He conditioned him as well to fear water always and gave him to his aunt, great aunt, well aunt, actually his aunt, that's Augustus. Lucretia, or Maligula, who doesn't remember being Maligula. I mean, it makes sense. I just don't explain it very well. And then he broke his own mind. He was like, fuck that. Shattered them. Literally. That's all the pieces. That's all the Fords we've seen in the first and the second game. Admiral Ford, Park Ranger Ford. I mean, Admiral Crawler, Park Ranger Crawler. What else was there? 
There's bowling forward. Yeah, all the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shown, at least. That's what he was hiding here. Let's get out of here. May I trouble you for a bubble? Well, actually, we don't need anything else. We don't need to go to collective unconscious, right? Everything's okay. As far as the brains go, all the brains have been 100%. The real world, not so much. So let's get out of here. Give me them smell and salts. Good, back in the real world. All right, now we can see Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob! No, that's the honey part. I need the other part. So realistically, I would say two or three more episodes of Psychonauts. Ooh, these explode, yep. What do they fear? They fear, I guess I could shoot them. What is that sound? You hear that? <clears throat> yeah, there's a whole section here we haven't been to. And there's the old psycho-isolation chamber. <laughs> Whose weird laughter is that? Oh, we're What's fine. a psycho isolation chamber doing out here? It's a damn fine question, my boy. Is that bird gonna take me somewhere? Nope, that's not right. Oh, so I gotta, I gotta. Oh, I gotta look at the birds. Okay, I see one bird, and this one has two birds, so that's the second. And this one has three birds. Oh, birds know the order. What's in this psycho isolation chamber? A whole marker. This must be the first ever psycho isolation chamber. Created as therapy, later used to punish kids <laughs> in summer camps. Rank 80. So what does need seven... Projection. Projection, paper cuts. Enemies take damage when they melee attack your archetype. The other one is pull down between TK plucks. Take no damage for a brief period when entering clairvoyance. I guess that's... The, I'm going to need that for a boss, I'm pretty sure. Fuck it, I guess... I guess I'll wait one more rank for uh, paper cuts. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, it's like, what the fuck do I do in this situation? Uh, you know, their world is a little fantastical, a little. <laughs> you can sneeze your brain out, but it's a really good story. And I like that it was... It existed before the game existed, if that makes sense. Who is that? You hear that? I wonder what that is. Compton's Menagerie. Oh, it's it's... It's Compton and Cassie. It's there. Before he snapped. Bully. She calls him Bully. Wait, that that little guy knows something I don't. Where to? Aha. Uh -huh. Supply chest key. There it is. It was in Beaver's Nest. Wow. I heard... So I heard them. There they are. Help me get those big vines off of the astrolabe. Sorry, but plants are Bob Zanotto's area of expertise. Yes, I've always found them rather thorny. <laughs> oh, bully! It's a pretty serious game for you know such a presentation, but you know, I already said because <laughs> because I only like these games better now that I play them again. I do want to go back and uh, play all the Tim Schafer games or, you know, even uh, LucasArts games, the old LucasArts. So we never finished Return to the Monkey Island. No, uh, the other one. Why do I always put that one? The, the other one. Not Welcome to Monkey Island. The Secret of Monkey Island. 
the first game, right? No, come back! I'm too cheap to let the money just go. Oh, look, that beaver's actually building a dam. Can I pet them? Wait, first, don't fuck up. First, you need your don't kill an animal badge. So, uh, where is it? Beast Mastery. Just so we wouldn't squish them. And then you need... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I activated slowing time. Let's use that here. Where no one's gonna get hurt. Okay. Then, telekinesis. I like you, kid. You remind me of a young me. Yeah. Okay, they see me as a monster. Well, I am a human. My name's Rax. What's yours? Okay, so nothing, nothing cool with that. Nothing, nothing exceptional at this moment. Really should get more badges. Like that one's pretty cool. Oh wait, I can climb here. Nobody said I could. I'd be able to climb here. I see more shit over there. Is that an elevator? Is that supposed to be an elevator? Nope, that's not an elevator. I'm just gonna go over here. Pretty sure there was something else here. Aha! Uh -huh. Twenty-two out of twenty-seven. That's not bad. I guess we could get another rank. Do I have enough? In total, I have how many? Where I always forget. Ten cards. Okay, we could get a rank, and that would be just enough to. Oh no 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 no! Water water water! Oh shit! All right, never mind. It's kind of creepy seeing it through, through the uh, through the bridge. avoid them need the discount badge cuz cuz why not uh, assorted where's that store there it is new pins for that special projection in your life of course you have new pins for that you old fuck Okay, need at least one more of these. Great idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. <laughs> what else can I? What else can I do you for? Uh, let's get fuck. Get all the pouches Good selection. right away. Hmm. That choice says a lot about you. Does it now? So what do we have for projection? Muffles your archetype to give your ears a rest. <laughs> you can silence him if he if his if his speech annoys you, you can just fucking silence him. Digitize his archetype for a retro makeover. Watch your archetype move like the wind. So he's Huh? What does that mean? Your archetype explodes into confetti upon death, damaging nearby enemies. I'm gonna get that one. That's the hot stuff right there. I'm I'm interested in this one though. Retro. Perfect. Let's fucking choice. get them all. Okay, so you can deal more damage with punches now. That's good when I need to battle. I think everything is unlocked at this rank, yep, except the unlimited mana. Mmm, if I want a simult simultaneum. <laughs> if I want more money, huh? I guess I'll get the punches. There you go. Can I get some fluffs? Dream fluffs. 50 per fluff, huh? We got side pops here. Mm, good choice. Dream fluff saved my psychic butt more than once, I'll tell you. Sorry, you're just adorable, Please man. Please use your purchases responsibly. All right, so we have enough to level up. Get the discount off first. I was using this right big time for now. So then upgrade, upgrade that. 
Any enemies that dare to melee attack your archetype will now cut themselves on his razor sharp edges. Look at that needle point. It's so cool. That sounds very familiar. But you know, putting Brad Dourif in such a concept is kind of like at home, isn't it? <laughs> That's his shit. Wait, where does the thorn go? The thorn goes to the right. It goes this way. That's right. So what were you two lovebirds up to? Anything else over there? I'm just gonna guess there's nothing else over there. I really want to get to the level, so... Some ropes can be cut with the side blast. Alright. Which one exactly, Master? Oh. Is that a rope? Nope. Oh, that's a rope. Why is one of these on the wall, I wonder? Never mind, let's go to that level. So there's been below. You can go below. Fetch another card. Ouch! Thorns hurt. Alright, mental self. Mental self? Mental note to self? Thorns hurt. Don't touch thorns. But spines are good, apparently. Can I burn thorns? I would expect to be able to burn them. Nope. This is a very fire immune tree. Wow, that was brave and stupid. Well, that's the that's how I'm supposed to go around them. And then I guess hurry up before they respawn. But keep looking down in case there's something I've missed. Oh, fly traps now. Alright, are we ready? We're about, what, an hour and 30 minutes. Exactly, that's beautiful. That's the right. Look at this draw distance. How the. Unreal Engine, one of the best uses of Unreal Engine I've seen. Look at that. It's. It works so seamless. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why that was there. I see now. I see. I'm going back. Fuck it, I'm going back. <gasps> Hiya! How am I supposed to get there? Somehow through that. So since this is here, it's got to be there for a good reason, right? Can I climb? Yeah. So am I supposed to go that way somehow? Oh shit, nope. Definitely not that way. Brad Dourif, you might know him from your nightmares. <laughs> from that time, you almost wet the bed as an adult human. That was Brad Dourif. Courtesy of Brad Dourif. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to go from here at all, you know. I'm beginning... I'm having a feeling that I'm doing this backwards. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I didn't see that thing. There you go. One more card left. Wow, that turned around quickly. And there's the last key. I'll bet this used to be Otto's workshop. The old Looks workshop. Like went out with a bang. <laughs> That's all cool, but why is there still electricity connected if it's Otto's old workshop? Is he insane? Otto I know would turn that off. He wouldn't let he wouldn't let it simmer. So we got the key, right? We got both keys? I Forgot what I saw there. Yeah, we got... Oh, look! We just need one card and done. That's it. Is that, that one card is going to be like behind the house or something because I don't see it here. Let's use these. All 
I always forget about that extra jump thing I got. <laughs> that squishy sound. So it's kind of like, I know it's not, ow, but it feels like we're climbing thorny towers for the mentally disturbed again. Because, you know, of all the thorns, these also explode, so they're kind of, oh, I think I saw the card up there. Kind of freakier than the old ones. Is the card like on the house or on the side of the house? Because if this is here, that tells me, well, no, that's probably where I got the other one, right? Let's look around. Because if it's in this area, it'll be visible from here. Oh, shit. Alright. Ignore it. Why is it not working? Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow, his house is in a very dangerous spot. Oh well, fuck that last card, we'll find it. It's a picture of the psychic six. I mean seven. Why is it just on the ground, huh? Well, let's find out. This is this is a long level. We'll be doing it this and next session. There's a there's it's a huge level with quite a few uh, areas. Bob's got quite the issue. His depression got the better of him. Or well, like all of him. And he's old, I forgot he grew. They're all old, it's been 20 years. Bob? Hey, that just missed me. Well, his aim ain't what it used to be. <laughs> you could give somebody a concussion. Yeah, well, it was your choice to come in here mm, uninvited. Uh, it's dangerous in here. Lots of uh, broken things. Ow! Hey, your nephew, Truman, sent me on a mission to put Ford Crawler back together and Helmet Full Bear. Stop it! Right now! I don't want to hear any of those names ever again, you hear me? They're all... Lost. Dead. But, Bob... Especially that one! Uh, uh, Ow! Man, that's fucked up. You're lucky I'm wearing a helmet. Hey, he doesn't want... He doesn't want any company. Oh, the vine wants help? The vine wants to help him. His flowers love him. They're like, he's gone mad. Help us. Fine. Nice fine. Do you think Bob would mind if I took a look inside his mind? <laughs> what, what the fuck are you turning for? You can't look. You have no eyes on there. It's like the carpet from Aladdin. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's a cute animation. But if you think about it, it serves no purpose. Oh, he's gonna gently put it on his forehead. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty fiery in there. All right, Bobby, old boy, here I come. Toodaloo. <laughs> That's adorable. I, I expected him, I half expected him to burp there. Hello? Agent Zanato? Here we go, here, the tr another trippy level, another mental issue loaded level. I do remember it a lot. Oh, he, he knows something. Hello? Agent Zanato? 
Strange. I don't usually get visitors here. That sounds pretty lonely. I have my garden. Of course. The Zanatos are famous for their... gardens. His garden is pretty barren. Huh. What did you plant here? Plant? What kind of seeds did you use? Oh, seeds. Yeah, that's right. No seeds. Lost them all. Where'd they go? Out there, I suppose. Can't really remember. Well, let's go. Damn. Right. I'm uh, not a good swimmer. Are you? No. <laughs> the opposite. The island, then, I guess. Uh. That's horrible. He's been alone there for so long. So easy to turn around and just don't give a fuck up. Don't worry. I'll find your lost seeds. Uh, take your time. Okay, so we do need to see what he sees. I look like a little gardener. Is it like up? No, it's... Oh, there it is. It is there. So there was something he forgotten? Oh damn, it's doing that thing again. So wait, wh where does the door go? Fuck. I have so many questions now. Let's start with the fire. Let's make a fire first. Starting a signal fire. Tried it. No one comes. God, that's horrible. Was it a diary? Yeah, the, the whole level is like a little planet you move around on. Like a little big planet almost. Let's move on. Can I go back to the door? I guess I could. Would it take me? Wait, what about the flowers? No, wait, I can use the door as a boat. There you go. The music is gonna be become pretty cool. So Tia, you're gonna learn who Tia was. Helmut and the Psychonauts. They're um, Don't worry. pots, I guess. Uh, take your time. Wait. Don't go. Oh man. Come with me. Oh. It's heartbreaking. It's okay. Look, I'll just do some quick seed recon and then I'll come right back. I promise. All right. Quick quick seed recon. There's a lot of figments. Uh, on the ocean itself that's that I remember that gave me some grief why are you turning around Raz like Johnny I hardly knew of knew ya but a, a happy a happy version <laughs> Hundred and sixty five. That's not that's not that many figments as I remember. I just remember having a lot of issues getting them all here. Because uh because one of them was in a banana tree. I think I'll remember this, this one. Looks promising. And ominous. Prominous, if you will. A prominous. <laughs> Alright, before we go into the bottle, and we'll have to go into the bottle, it's part of the story. <laughs> Well, are the figments even here? Okay, no, I'm not gonna open it yet. How about that bird, huh? I look like a monster. Yeah. Me too, man. My mom used to do that a lot. Well, she still does, really. She'll mix words, make up her own. And then, you know, I get used to it and I go out in the world and I say something stupid and people are like, what? Oh, don't go there yet, too early. I say, ow! It's too early. 
emotional baggage. Well, it's not too early, I guess. I, I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. This hat box needs a hat box tag. See what I mean? The figments are just out there in the island. It's like I'm playing. I think I hear something. A psychotic Sea of Thieves expansion. Sea of Thieves now with brains. Now with 50% more brains. All right, let's go there. Fuck it. This is one of the areas. So this is this is going to give us some insight into how he feels. Two atoms, huh? Yep. Hey, Lily. I thought you hadn't seen your great uncle Bob in years. How does he know what you look like? My dad sent him pictures for years. He's never heard your voice though, has he? How'd you know? <laughs> that doesn't sound like her at all. Have you seen any seeds on this island? I'm trying to find some for Bob. Nope. Good thing too. What good things ever came from a seed? I don't know. Plants? Trees? Heartbreak, disappointment. Bob's Lily. So what are you doing out here? Just trying to stay away from great uncle bad news. Oh. Bob's and Anna was actually really nice. Once you get to know him. Don't worry. He'll let you down eventually. Bob's and Anna was actually really nice. Once you get to know him. Don't worry. He'll let you down eventually. Here's the hat box tag. There's the... So that's the one I missed, I think. Yep. Up in the tree. I, the first time I played, I looked for a final figment for so long. It was that one up on the tree. But it was hard to see. I guess I didn't expect it there. Wait, what does she see me at? What does a person that doesn't even exist? Yep, she sees me as Bob sees me, of course. Let's go get that hat box. On its own little island. What's that sound? <laughs> so the hat box has been... The hat bond the, the hat box hath been sorted. Alright, I ruined it. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Or tried to say anything. Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Ah, uh, yeah. Shoe bird. It's my thing now. Is that a figment too? No, it's not. But I... Uh, it looks like a figment. Get away, bird. I took ownership of this now. Oops. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to uncork that. Oh look, there's a there's a wave figment over there. When we get into a bottle, we're about to get into the bottle, and it's gonna be wacky. I mean, by did by now you expect it already from this game, right? But like it's gonna be wackier than usual. Anything up in the tree? No. All right, let's go. We, oh, fuck! I could have missed it. See, I wasn't even looking. I thought I got everything here. I, you can see me while I'm talking. I'm touching shit that I just give up. He, head over to the bottle. And look, there's the figment you didn't even see because it was a piece of grass. Nice hiding there, figment. I found you, but I, that's the banana I missed. Nope, that's the one. That's the one that got me last time. See it up there? How would you even see it if you weren't looking for it? You know what I mean? That's the one. Stupid ah. banana. Tia's bottle. Let's go into Tia's bottle. It'll explain a lot about old Bob. Oh, I guess that's for now. Here we go. Ready or not? One, two, three, four. Yeah! Looks like an old family home. It's a kid and his mom. Well, who could it be? There's a mom pouring drink. Mom, it's time for my recital. What do you think happens? You got a, quite a few guesses. Whatever you guess you want, I'm pretty sure. Childhood trauma, isn't it a wonderful thing? <laughs> Look how crooked everything is.
I think, so that's why I was punching the fridges to open them in, in the first Psychonauts, because I played this game, and I, you know, you punch a fridge to open it, but in the first game, you gotta approach it and press open button, but I, pr I, oh, I pressed the open button so many times, but when I was... Come inside, I made dinner. Oh, he made dinner for her. We're gonna take a look behind, yeah, there you go, telephone, hiding in the darkness. Look in the fridge. Yep. Oh, what garden is this? It's a giant moth. Oh, yeah. I memories. <laughs> I keep remembering shit. Hey. Hold it right there. Why? I wouldn't want you to get hurt. How could Whose that mustache is that? Hurt me? Oh, they always start out little, don't they? And then they grow and grow and cause so much pain. Ugh. Here, let me just take this somewhere safe. Is that... Wait, no, I want that. No, you don't. Is that... I think that's... Um... Helmut. Well, because of the mustache and everything, I don't know. Look, there's strawberries here. Shit's weird again. Stop it, game. I, I always like this element in games. When you... There's an object inside which there's a whole different, let's say, universe, kind of. So that's something that Portal Games did. And, you know, the first time... The first game I ever saw it in was the original Prey from 2005. Where you had little boxes that would serve as portals, basically. So you could be like looking at yourself entering it you know the portal exit somewhere behind you you can shoot yourself in the ass that's the only game where i could shoot myself in the ass without ricocheting you know just snipe this this reminds me of that okay uh let's start at the beginning how did i get up here <laughs> oh hey there uh lend a hand what do you need uh, just uh, a bit bob. of a bind here if you could jiggle me loose, I could get some fresh air on my face. I'll work it out. Just hang in there. Is that a joke? Because uh, I didn't ask for any jokes. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Be fine. Dizzy! We got a raid. We got raided by Dizzy and they go, Dizzy, how have you been, Dizzy? Dizziness. Free. <laughs> we just let Bob chat here. Chat us up. Uh, Thank you for the raid, Diz. On this side of what have you been face? playing? Uh, gonna need a rotation soon. Hey, you down Dizzy. There. A little help. Dizzy, man, we used to play a lot of a lot of uh, Outbreak before, but uh, but then I moved my internet went shit, and I lost contact with some people. Did I climb up here? Well, not lost contact, but it's just not the same, you know. When it's not outbreak 24-7. <laughs> Hi, Sineb. Hello, Sineb. Outbreak. Yeah. Uh, I've, 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 I've reduced my outbreak streams to once a week. It's doing a lot more story streams, but it's still there. It's still the main game. How have you been, Dizzy? Dizzy Dizzina. Let's see. Roll in the dice and oh suck! What's a suck up? <laughs> what do you do in suck up? What do you suck up in suck up? Well, hello, Dizzy's peeps. Welcome in. I'm Hip Tesla. If you don't know me, I mostly stream retro games. Mostly, uh, a lot of story games. I consider myself a story streamer, and uh, it's all from uh, original hardware, no emulation whatsoever. Well, good to hear. Good to hear. You guys are usually up in my morning, so like your later uh, evening, my morning. It's been harder to connect with some people, but I usually catch someone in Gamut's stream or Gary's stream somewhere in between morning and noon. The indie game that uses chat GPT where you talk to people in a neighborhood and trick them into letting you inside. Well, that's an interesting concept to use chat GPT. You're a vampire and can't come inside if they don't invite you in. 
<laughs> well, that's good. Suck up. It's called suck up. I gotta write that down for my nephew. I know he'll like it. I like that concept. <laughs> All right. So how was it? Are you, are you so? Were you single playering or or co op in what Solomon does? There you go. You just, you summon zombie out of his slumber. <laughs> zombie chow rises at the word. That's like you know Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You just you don't even have to say it three times. You say outbreak. People just say randomly. A doctor somewhere says there's a cholera outbreak, and zombie chow just pops in next to him, just like a shadow behind him. <laughs> it was single player, but I beat it in about three hours after two attempts. All right, that's so that's yeah, it's a short game. But a strong, a strong uh, experience, I assume, huh? Are there more figments? What was I doing? We came this far. We gotta let Bob, Bob, Bob loose. There he goes. Ah, uh, that's the stuff. Yeah, a little motion really gets the juices. That's how he's gonna help us. With alcoholic oh, burps. You know what I mean. Hang on. I'll break that final vine. No, 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 I'll just leave it. I, I think this is all the fun <laughs> I can handle right now. So, yeah, his, 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 I guess the strength of his burps is what's going to help us. Can we slow him down, though? Would the time bubble work on Bob, I wonder? Has this fallen down? I just tried to... Hiya! Yeah, it works. See, I, first time I played, I never remembered to try to combine those two. He goes slow-mo as well. Got the figment? No, I didn't get the figment. You can slow figments down. That really trips you up. Oh, done. Far and wide, with the shriek of a damned spirit, to my heart with the stealthy pace of the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> that must be good being in his head. There's a figment oh, over there. We, we gotta go get. Again. He's just gonna talk to himself. I remember this. There was some real funny conversation with hey, with the AI. You know, Sineb, I don't know if you know of uh, Quake 3 Arena. It was like way before chat GPT, but the bots, the bots in Quake 3 Arena, you could chat with them if you're playing, well, if you're playing single player, but also multiplayer, it doesn't matter. If you have a bot, you type in chat, they will respond. It's not, it's far off from chat GPT, but I, <laughs> I liked that as a kid. So that's, that sounds very appealing to me with, you know, more refined chat options. Plenty of replayability. The Some of the neighbors recognize home. the outfits of those they live near to and react accordingly. Nice. Tons of outfits you can swap into to bullshit your way through the game. Like a high-vis vest if you want to try and convince them you need to check the <laughs> power box or something. Yeah, that's, that is pretty cool. That does sound pretty damn fun. Oops. Just a cutscene. Breath from above. Uh-oh. How'd you get yourself caught by that bird? Caught? I got this feathered fairy service right where I want him. 20 feet in the air? He's keeping me moving so I don't plant roots. It's a constant struggle. Damn. That's fucked up, game. I mean, the whole game is fucked up, but yeah. Hope you're not taking me back to your nest to, uh, feed something. <laughs> Does that mean he disappeared from the other? No, there's multiple Bob Bobs in this world, apparently. I guess that's his... That's the way he sees himself in his own mind. Slow it down, yep. No, 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 no! Why did they use that? Stop that! Alright. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't remember to use that in the first the playthrough. <laughs> it's very cartoony aesthetically, hey, which is fine. Friend. Yeah. They just love to fly and fly. You're talking about uh, suck up, right? Cartoony. Dizzy managed to hey, convince at least one person so that they were stuck in the matrix. The <laughs> I gotta check that out. For my nephew, if not for me. <laughs> Where did we come from? We came from. Oh, it's the same bird. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. There he goes. 
That's pretty useful. So that's what it would expect me to do, but I did it. The, the time bubble really helps. He wants me to go across there. Alrighty then. <laughs> that isn't that a that's clearly pretty RPG-ish. I love more and more the more you know the older I get, the more I appreciate stuff like that in video games. You know, when you can. All right, Bob. Sorry, you gotta pause you. <laughs> when you you know when the NPCs can talk back or like react just to what you're doing, you know. Most a lot of my fascination with the first Baldur's Gate I'm playing through right now off stream for the first time, right? Um, is how much you can, you know, change people's minds or don't change people's minds, you just go them into doing the right or the wrong thing or just affect them with conversation. But I'm just this is what with preset answers now, something with Jet GPT where I can type whatever I want that sounds very cool. Same with Phasmophobia. One of the things that really attracted me with Phasmophobia is the spirit box. I can talk to ghosts and they will respond. Sure, they have a very limited, you know, number of responses you can get. They're all supposed to be bone chilling. But the fact that I can go, hello there, uh, what's his name? Frank, are you around? He goes, don't use my name. That, I like that stuff, as simple as it is. The cops neighborhood watch patrols kept stealing this stuff. Try looking for evidence <laughs> to to arrest the guy that's the fucking with everyone's <laughs> mind. All right, slow down, little birdie. Oh, there was a figment there. There, didn't even see it. Oh, there's another one. Woo! That was cool. All right, could have been a lot worse. I wonder if there was a figment back there as well. So roughly bearing me over the sea. <laughs> okay, I guess that's supposed to be very scary. Yeah, if he's going fast, he could fuck up. I hope I can slow him down like this. Zoop. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I hear some. You can turn into a bat to avoid cops, but you can drop into your costume and they sometimes put the outfits on, thus stealing them. Huh? Yeah, that's one field that will definitely benefit from, you know, just... As amazing as games like Bioware games, in essence, you know, when I think of like Mass Effect and... People say Knights of the Old Republic is like that, and now, you know, Baldur's Gate. Um, it, it just blows my mind how much they put in this preset. But imagine if it's not preset, if it can actually generate an answer or reply based on the situation, your alignment, whatever. It would, like, sky's the limit, almost. I don't think... I think those games... The games would play for a long time. Oh, wait. Bob's Bottles goes before Cassie's collection. That's so weird. I did it. I did it backwards the last time, too. So... Shit, yeah, we don't have a tag for that. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. A duffel bag, that's right. I'm not a bag expert. I gotta, I gotta memorize all these bag names. Oh, wait, there's a thing over there, which... Oh, see, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a nugget over there, a nugget of wisdom. One more time around the block, Jeeves. Gotta keep an eye on the route. All right, let's start by going here first. Zoop. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm... You met my friend, they just love to fly and fly. Ooh, little... Well, Tight with the timing. So this is, I guess, for going back then. Yeah, I can't go this way. But the figments tell me I should be able to go the other way. Oof, that was close. It's a straw. Like a cocktail straw? I get it, because he's an alcoholic. 
Because his heart was broken and the man is drowning his tears or sadness in alcohol. So his nugget is a watering pail. Makes sense. Imagine, yeah, Carter. I wonder if the SNES CPU could even, you know, maybe emulate it or something. Because uh, SNES's native the CPU is like, what? 4 megahertz or something? Ooh, there's the, I see, I see the, the tag. Don't open the fridge yet. Got the duffel bag tag. Oh wait, what's in the fridge then? Oh, just titanium. All right, I gotta go back. Then I gotta go back. But why here though? That's the part I don't get. Why is wait a this? second? What am I doing up here? <laughs> maybe you could tell us that. Tell maybe you could tell I think I us hear some that. Bomb. Baggage here. There we go. Goofy. Imagine the replayability with uh, with an AI, yeah. So, I got the whole collection of Elder Scrolls, right? And I read, I don't know if this is true, but I read that the first two games, the oldest ones, that their worlds are procedurally generated, which means that, like, you and I playing could have a completely different... What was the name of the world? I forgot. So, Toril is uh, Forgotten Realms. I mean, Elder Scrolls. Woo! Alright, back to... Oh, shit. Things have tur really turned the dark turn in the Zanato household, I guess. With an alcoholic mom. And no support. Well, I can at least take care of the dishes. hi -yah! Karate chop them into a video. Whoa! Hold on. What if I tried pyrokinesis? <laughs> That's just for personal amusement. Don't try this at all. I guess yeah, this would help me clean up. How can these plants look so sick? You spend so much time on them. Memory of mom. So her garden withered as well. Did she lose her did he lose his dad young? Something like that. Yet I see no figments in this part of the game, it's weird. And how the whole fucking level swivels. I guess that's the sickness. Yeah, that one doesn't want to die. That's the moth. Come back with my seed, you little bitch. Anything up there? No. See what I mean? There's a whole different world behind the wall. Tamriel, that's right, thank you, Dizzy. Tamriel, that's the name of the Elder Scrolls. So we would have completely different Tamriels, from what I understand, which is an amazing concept. Oh no, I don't mean like the memory, sure, we can extend the memory as far even beyond the system's capability. So let's say the limit, I think on I think on N64, don't quote me on that, but let's say it's like Two gig or a gigabyte for sake of example you can have like a a gigabyte of memory and then different banks that swap so that way you can have infinite gigabytes theoretically right but the cpu speed itself that's needed to to you know do all the math that goes into ai that's the bit i don't think the snes could do or any older system because that does require some processing power you know it's not like generated out of thin air that's where i think it would you probably stare for at a screen for hours upon hours until it uh, comes up with an answer i think that's what would make it unfeasible but you know i could be wrong <clears throat> there could be some what do they call it uh blast processing yeah oh shit don't slow this one okay Now it's going down, yeah, there you go. That's crazy. 
crazy. All right, where do I need to go now? Oh, another tag. So I can go there, or I can just jump on this and see what happens. Nope, that comes. That brings me back. No. <laughs> Depth perception. Oh yeah, it's morning for a sign up that he, he's buying. He's buying bread. It's bread time over there. First tag. Now we just need to find the purse. I think I heard it crying. There it is. There's the purse up there. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Careful! You almost touched it. The fuck are you talking about, Moth? The seed? I'm tempted to just let you get hurt. All right, Moth. I Chill think up. I hear some. No. <laughs> use a raspberry. Imagine that. You know what? That's not actually a bad idea. If you were to use... No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. If you were to use... Uh... How do I climb there? Name for me this monster so roughly bearing me over the sea. A cart with extra processing power? I guess you could do it. Oh, that's how we get there. Yeah, you gotta swing. It's a trapeze trick. That's how. And go gently down and sort the bag. <laughs> you know, like uh, like Super FX chip. Something like that. Does anyone have an, have an air sickness bag? It's good to be the Bob, huh? Well, it's not really good to be the Bob. What am I doing up here? Hmm. Looks like my plant friend is caught up in some regrets. What are you talking about? I have no regrets. <laughs> and these must be somebody else's. <laughs> in your mind, huh? All right, we're going to need some regret shooting guns. Psy guns. Keep an eye on those guys. Fucking annoying bastards with explosive. Almost like you want to get hurt by this thing. Oh, I need to... Did he say I learned nothing? <laughs> I regret nothing, I learned nothing. He's just being stubborn, he can He's trying to hurt himself, because he thinks the one person he loved the most is gone. Which, you know, you can't blame him for. It's 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 a valid response, in a way. Oh, you don't want to be near this thing. Oh, shut up, Moth. Of course I do. So why there? What, what? What is that for? Why would I? Hey, don't get so close. Let's follow him through. So there goes there. Slow him down. Let's see. There's that and that. But why? Let's just jump I'm on it. I'm starting to think you don't trust my opinion about seeds. Not at all, my boy. Not at all. I don't know why there's that's there, but. Let me get this out of your way. Come back here, little punk. I'm really curious about that platform Hope down there. Taking me back to your nest to uh, feed something. I guess we're gonna have to ride a straw. Thanks for the lift, by the way. I didn't catch your name. At least we're done with that part. This must be Bob's mother, Tia Zanotto. That's right. Oh, wow, he, that's him as a kid and that's her, okay. I didn't realize. Next time I'm really going to hide this. Shut up, I'm trying to get some story here, Ma. So what's this? She was, she had her own, oh, okay. So she lost someone else, I think, as well. She lost her husband and she I'm also- <laughs> she also went down the alcohol route trying to, you know, deal with that. Just flowers and alcohol. And that's what Bob learned from, Oopsie. so... Let me get this out of your way. Shut up for a second. And that's why he's behaving the way he is. Uh, hey, Mom. Are you heading out to the greenhouse again? Oh, my God. It gets dark as you approach it. Isn't that cool? Look, there's sun on this side, but the other side it's dark. 
imagine oh my you know again back to Baldur's gate we're gonna stream a lot of Baldur's gate on this channel when the time comes but the first the first game really reminds me of the first legacy of kane and presentation and just how the voice acting is done well and just how interesting it is you know it's like with like with the first blood omen i didn't get this game as a kid i wanted to i knew there was something in there but i i just didn't get it and then now when it clicked you know it's wonderful and i think it's that's a good thing because sometimes you want to wait for things to get to the point where you understand them you know what i mean sometimes you're just too young for something god it's tripping me out and uh you can't really nail it if you know what i mean that that like planetary gravity thing is really tripping me out is there something ab i feel like that hand is extended for a reason There's nothing here. You're telling me there's literally nothing here. All right, I'll go inside. I'll bite. What are you doing out in the greenhouse for so long? Do I, am I using time bubble? Not for now. I'll remember to equip it. Or not, it'll be funny when I say, oh shit, wrong power. So every time we enter the kitchen, it's more overgrown. Mom, you out here? It's like Sun Hill with more colors. Uh, Blood Omen one and uh, and Baldur's Gate one. So I, I I love Dark Alliance, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. But I didn't get, you know, the first blood. It's not like I didn't get it. It was just too hard. I was too hasty. I didn't pay attention to the timings. Now it's the breeze. Just combo everything. <laughs> Cut everything. Go into a whirlwind. The, the axe whirlwind and just breeze through the game, basically. But one of the one of the tactics. But back then, I just didn't have the patience to even finish the first level, man. The same for Baldur's Gate. I started that game, I'm going to say like five times at least over the course of my life. From like the age of let's say 12 ish i don't know something maybe more when i got my first computer someone gave me the five cds of Baldur's gate and i i returned them i was like this isn't for me <laughs> uh and then a couple more times but each time i wouldn't get far and i would lose patience yeah patience exactly this is yeah this is what i like about life Honestly, you learn as long as you're alive because then that means it's never boring and obvious by now. I love learning I Gotta get some water. Well, that's a little foreboding. Oh, yes. Be right back. Only very bad things down there Perfect place for this So we're gonna have a little boss battle, huh? Oh, come on is it a boss battle? You'd better leave Bob's memories alone. No. You don't want to bring out one of his bad moods. What's so dangerous about a bad... Oh, bad mood. Is it the final enemy of the game? Yep. Look, Mr. Mood. I'm sure we can work this out. For instance, let's examine the source of... Ice. Needs, need to find its source. All right, so we got... Yeah, that's why I needed to upgrade the power. Ah, shit, that's why I need... So, for to defeat the bad mood... Um, Rani Mascara, yeah. Um, to defeat the bad mood, we need... Clairvoyance. But I don't have a brain block because I was not smart enough. I never got the brain block, right? Oh, that's exactly what we need now. I knew I was supposed to do it soon, but mental block. There it is. Oh, they just misnamed it. So this would be a very good upgrade now. Right now, take no damage for a brief period when entering clear ones. I wasn't sure which level this is. It's this penultimate level, which means. It's gonna be a little harder. It's nothing too bad. I just wish I put points into that. 
speed reader is going to help. So let's put that instead of sensory overload for now or big time instead of big time. So I need to read it. I need to understand it basically to be able ooh, to be able to defeat it and to understand it. I need clairvoyance if i could just cv this thing i could find out what's causing it oh it's oh. immune to clairvoyance right now so how do i unimmune it it's not working no let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood so we gotta get there there we go and defeat that the a bad mood now, are you? well that's how you defeat them turn them into good mood That's why clever ones is useful as a. So in the first game, it just served the obvious purpose to see through the eyes of others, which gave a lot of puzzle opportunities. But in this game, in the sequel, you can also do. You can also use it as a combat ability. Look at all the bottles. Shit, man, that's. It's fucked up in a few ways. Geronimo. I really need that water and get it back. I want to see it though. And hear it. Alright, now we're going to turn off the camera. Or the mic. Or just got to get a glass of water. Right here. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. Still here. Just moving slightly away. But I'm still here. No, I'm not here. <laughs> I lied, I'm still here. I'm very thirsty too. Oh yes. Raziel says nothing while having... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if that means something. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was. I laughed quite a few times for you know. How is he talking? Is he telepathically, or are we just not supposed to think about it because you know the overarching story is way more important than the detail. How the fuck is our hero talking without the jaw? You know, without his jaw. And some of the changes. You know, some of the changes come in the sequels, as cosmetic or just you know directional choices. But it makes you wonder, right? Mom, it's it's bedtime. Are you still out here? Oh, so her her garden is drowned in alcohol. It's like a little shrine. Is that where the seed is? I think it is. Wow. So this must be Lily's great grandmother. Uh oh. Great grandmother. So great grandfather wait really oh yeah because man so many family relations here so lily lily's father is truman zanotto his uncle is bob zanotto which makes him lily's great uh, great great uncle just one day great uncle damn and then his mother would be great grandma i guess Moths know, right? What do we do? We got well, we got a seed actually. Is there no boss battle? This is just half the level so far, I think. Look familiar? I don't know. Looks big. Let's plant it and see what happens. Nothing happened. Guess it's a dud. Agent Zanato, as an expert gardener, I'm sure you know the value of patience when it comes to... 
Well, hello. What? I'm off to find more seeds. Oh, it's mom. Uh, well, don't you think this is enough? More's always better. I'll be right back. Damn, I feel bad for him. Worse than the first time. Definitely. Another bottle, alright. We gotta un uncork another bottle. This one has the Psychonauts logo on it. Did the other one have that? No, the other one was Tia, so this one's regarding his best friends. So we are doing something, it's blossoming. Any, any new dialogue there? That's always fun. I'm gonna go get some more lost seeds, okay? Don't do it on my account. <laughs> All right, chief. Yep. So see, the other flowers have withered, so we're following these flowers now. I guess it's telling us which ones are the freshest. Do -do 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 -do. Oh no, that's the wrong. Yeah, okay, they're not withered, they're just different plants, I guess. Yeah, uh, on top of that, he is, isn't he? He's a, he is a wraith. I mean, they do call him a wraith. But he also gets a corporeal form as well. He still talks with his wraith form because he's there the whole time. You can see it when he's, let's say, falling back to Spirit Realm. He, uh,. God damn it. He's still, he's the entire time his spirit is in there, just like moving the lifeless sh shell, I guess. Right, another bottle. That's Bob, all alone. Is there more bananas up in the tree? Because I will kill someone if it's the banana that gets me again. Shell, shell. The fuck was that? Why was it moving like that? Oh, the whole tree is a figment. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, you mean as the enemy's rates? That's what you mean? Because I don't think all rates are vampire ghosts. Or maybe they are. You know, I never thought about it. You think it's that... That's the case, that all of the vampire goats are raised, because we know the g big green ones, you know, the screamy ones from the first Soul Reaver, probably one of one of my favorite enemies, just because they're so darn creepy, man. And the scream, the shriek, it's not even a scream, it's a shriek, they emit. It's, I love it. Not impossible, definitely. They did have plans for them, did they? But uh, the humans wouldn't listen. Oh, look, there's a lighthouse. Can I fly there? No, oh, it ju just touched me twice. I, I have three tries, you lying sack of baloney. I want to I wanna get to the lighthouse. Uh, probably by via boat. Yeah, we'll go back there. Let's go into the bottle. I'll be back for you, lighthouse. Need the uh, telekinesis. That's a big cork. Hiya! Ho ho ho! I'm no plant scientist, but that looks pretty seedy to me. Every wraith is a former vampire. Okay, because the Hilden made the vampires immortal and there's not a single original vampire left. In. But what about human ghosts then? Are they just not called... Are they just called different? Oh shit, we can come back. So, are they just called ghosts because they're humans? You can't call a human ghost a wraith? Hey, you okay? 
okay over there? What? Uh, me? Oh, I I'm great, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> just accept it. You sure you're okay out there? Yeah, just a little... Mm, oh, this is embarrassing. Want me to pop you out of that bottle? Oh, well, I, I was just about to take care of that myself, <laughs> but uh, if you want to whack at it, be my guest. There you go. Fly free, little bulb boy. Oh, thank you. I forgot I gotta carry him. Shit. He's gotta help me. Cabbage burps are the worst. <laughs> so now I'm carrying. Can I put him down? I wanna go there. That's where I didn't go. Can you wait here? Uh, well, anyway, thank you. Shit, I should have jumped there first. But I can't jump as long as I have him, alright? I feel so much better. He stinks so much the water just moves. What? So, uh, what brings you to our neck of the swamp anyway? This is where I get off! Thanks Planted. for the lift! Alright, can I go back to get the figment now? Shit, don't fuck with me like that. I really want the figment. Oh, stupid moth again. You're welcome. What? For saving you from that time bomb. It's just a seed. Ah, but isn't a seed just a bomb in slow motion? <laughs> oh, you're making me think now. That's not what I, what I came here for. I didn't come here to think. Wait, can I even go back now, Bob? No, can't even take him. Fuck! It's oh, all right. There you go. A plank of wood appears after a set cutscene. All right. Helmut's helmet, huh? Right at the top of the ship. How convenient. Ooh, dark thoughts. Dark thoughts. Ooh. And there's treasure in there. Is that symbolical? Like dark thought hiding a treasure? Is that shit or a rope or... What is it supposed to represent? I'm gonna say rope. Is because I like it more as a rope. Don't go into the ship yet. Ah! No, 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 no! Damn, it's... Why are you jumping so weird? Because it's slanted? Is that why? God fucking damn it! Alright, one more time. Because it's slanted, the gravity is winning. Let's go over and see what's in there. And try not to die, I guess. Well, that's all here, folks, I guess. I don't know what's with the fire, though. That It's a shipwreck? Inside of the boat is weird. Well, at least bearable. The only human ghosts you meet are Ariel and Mobius, and both are pillar guardians. I think they are ghosts because of the... Hilden cursed vampire magic, preventing them from entering the Wheel of Fate. A bit like Malik. Well, they're not, you know. You, you do see a lot of human ghosts in First Blood Omen. Like, any humans you kill, when you come back, they're there as ghosts. So when you drink their blood, remember their material body's blood, it refills your health. But when you drink their spirit blood, so to say, it refills your mana. They never revisited the concept, but I liked it a lot. Can you walk up there, I wonder? Are you, are you supposed to walk up there? No, you're not supposed to. It just looks like you're supposed to. There's the seedy guy. I'm sure there were more human ghosts I've seen. Yeah. In 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 Defiance as well, you see humans go human ghosts, don't you? Oh, or the... 
<laughs> What's with the flamingos? Oh, there are there real flamingos? Oh, this one's stuck a little. Oh, water. There's a bad mood there. Let's kill these bastards. All right, we're gonna need sensory overload back. So I'm gonna say, no, oh, sensory overload is here. All right. Woo. No, no, not player once. I want the time bubble. Oh shit! Oh god! No, can't do that. Come here. Enabler, you little bitch! Come here! Oh god, he doesn't want to die. Ow! Oh, did I just get smacked by these low-level monsters? Sensory overload will help. Oh, Jesus Christ, bad mood. Okay, now we take care of the bad mood. Because I don't have a good clairvoyance here. Sorry, Flamingo. Why can't I use clairvoyance on it? What is stop? I guess you gotta wait for it to turn it off. You get it? That's how. That's why. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. We'll find it, whatever it is. There it is. That's it. I hope it's just one of them. There we go. All right, all right. Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> Where'd they go? Hey, where's the seed? What seed? Oh, that thing. Oh, I dropped it in a river far away. We'll find it. Right. We're more stubborn hey, than a It's not moth. in there. Not in there, I said. Sure. Haha. -ha. So I might be able to get a level in this level. Though, you know, clairvoyance thing would really help, but what can we do? Hey, speedy clairvoyance is enough, honestly. Hmm, archetype time. There's a memory vault in here. Where is my little buddy? Thank you. Yeah, he can regenerate my health. I should use him more in battle, I just forget. What you hide in Volt? Cutting the roots. So he, his from his angle fighting Maligula, she defeated him. His morning helmet next to the Groog. What is it called? The field mobile? Did Truman, yeah, Truman fired him because he wasn't himself. Like, he was becoming a danger to everyone, himself and others around him, yeah. So he got pretty pissed. His own nephew fired him. They're all beardy and hairy people in their family, aside from Lily. That's their, the original, that's the photo we've seen outside his hut, huh? He threw it out. Through the roof? Why'd you fuck up the roof for that? But okay. And that's where the hut was before his anger and pain made everything grow and lift him up away from everyone else. There's Helmut's photo. Damn. Don't be so lighthearted, game. I don't know if I can take all this in one sitting. Where's the fire? Don't come here, guy. I gotta send him. Go there while I burn this. There's nothing to do to burn. Okay. Oops, sorry. You eat this more than me. 
Oh, thank you for the help. We should be able to get some help here. There you go, full help. They knew this battle could fuck people over. You do you do yourself. Hmm, I don't see any more figments though. I kind of remember something else being here, but I could be completely wrong. So let's move. Oh, I have to carry old Bob again, huh? Come on, killer. I'm taking you along for protection. Good idea. It's you and me, kid. Let's show them who they're messing with. Over this way? Oh, great. That, that's exactly what I would have done. I haven't been over here in a while. Yeah, I was always wondering. They never explained that sub blood. I like that. I call it soul blood. Soul blood. Oh, that's beautiful. I called it. Uh, I think I just called it mana blood. <laughs> But yeah, it could be. That's an interesting theory. They never talk about it. Like, why was he able to do that? It's kind of like he had both Raziel's and his powers. Oh, shit. Okay, don't touch the red stuff. I get it. This guy knows what I'm talking about. What guy? What are we talking about? Careful, slippery stuff here. Oh. oh, I don't want to forget. I, don't, I think I did mutation, but people can't have too much mutation, I guess. They really ought to put down some yellow cones here. I uh, don't suppose you have any golf shoes on you, huh? Something with uh, cleats? <laughs> Fear and loathing in Las if Vegas. You start Remember to lean into the slip. Oh wait, is it? Or maybe it's away from the slip. <laughs> Careful. I think one of these tiles is loose. Okay, so the cracked tiles are not good. Don't step on the cracked tile. Oh god. Oh, did I hear a crack? You did hear a crack. Can I step on the Watch stone? Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to follow the uncracked tiles. A little crowd would do wonders for this one. Step lightly, young lord. Shut up. I know how I can bite the load. Did that help? <laughs> Things I deal with in people's heads. Well, here's my stop. This is where I get off. Uh, being back in this place really brings up some. <clears throat> Almost brings built. Up some. <laughs> <laughs> Memories. Oh, are you headed down to the boss's office? I do not envy you. Boss's office, you say? Wait, what do you see me as? What do you see me as, you old fart? Still a gardener, alright? Oh, this is Truman's office. Oh, it's the same voice actor as Coach Oleander. Recruited by Thor Crawler himself. <laughs> no pipsqueak nephew's gonna fire me. What do you mean what's happened to me? What's happened to you? Can they do? What's his phone number? I'm not gonna call some stranger. Just need my job. Damn. Yeah, I made some mistakes, but uh, so is everybody. Yes, people were hurt, but no one died. It worked out in the end. Huh. Why are you all attacking me? You're my own blood. Side. Damn, this is sad. That's how he felt. Truman, how could you? Raz, that's kind of inappropriate while this is happening, but sure. Fuck, <laughs> son. Well, like I said, don't be so cheery, dude. 
There's the seed. There's his old desk. Or no, wait, is that Truman's desk? Huh. I'd hate to see Truman get that mad. Yeah, man. Well, I, I can't imagine Truman getting that mad. They're all nice people and very mature people. Unrealistically mature. All right, that does two seeds so far, right? Yeah, we got two out of three or four of them. Got another one. Sprouty Sprout. This is going great, don't you think? I'm What's with the look? More seeds. He looked at him really weird. That should be an auto save, I think. Yeah, the new bottle rises. Now we're following yellow flowers, that's right. Yep, there was an auto save. All right, we're gonna stop here, folks. That's enough for today. You gotta get some sh shut eye tonight. But also, like, I'm tired. I can't, honestly, I can't. I'm, the quality of the program is dropping as tired as I get, right? So we're gonna end it here. We're gonna raid Dr. Best. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, Wesky and Dizzy, for the raids. It's so good to see Dizzy and sign up after so long. So long. Uh, tomorrow we're doing another episode of Psychonauts. We're skipping Couch Wednesdays this Wednesday, as obvious. But uh, next Wednesday we got something super sweet uh, lined up. After Psychonauts, we're going straight into Yoshi's Island and then Link's Awakening. And then... And then we're going to do <laughs> Soul Reaver for the Dreamcast. I know two people here, at least two people, if not more, will be ecstatic for that. We got the best Dreamcast connection. We got everything we need to play Soul Reaver on the Dreamcast. To stream Soul Reaver on the Dreamcast. I played it already. It's magnificent. That's all from me for today. <laughs> That's one person happy. All from you for today. Say hi to Doc West and stay well, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.